Hello viewers, welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to download pretend model and use this model for prediction. So let's do so. Import TensorFlow STF, then from TensorFlow dot keras import applications. Now let's see the documentation of applications so tf dot keras dot applications and go out there and you can see these are the models which we can download and use for our prediction and you can see mobile net out there resnet out there bg16 out there so just download one of them so model equal to write out there applications dot uh, ResNet. I want to download 50. Here include top right out there. True. And give out there weights. So I want the weights of ImageNet. If you use this function for the first time it will take some time to download and so just wait and when you use this for the second time it will not take that time that much time so let's see the summary of the model and you can see this is the summary of the model and the total parameters out there is 25, 6, 3, 6, 7, 1, 2. Trainable parameters are 25, 5, 8, 3, 5, 9, 2. And non trainable parameters are 53, 1, 2, 0. And you can see in the prediction layer, the last layer out there, there are 1000 neurons. That means uh, there are 1000 classes for classification. So <clears throat> let's see the input. So model dot inputs and you can see uh, the input should be of 224 by 224 by 3 and it uh, it should have a base so i want to predict a image for that reason just import cb2 and cb2 dot inbred so i want to read an image and write out there the directory of the image that you get so jpg out there get jpg so this is my image so i want to assign it to a variable as the image now image dot shape let's see the shape of this and you can see the shape of the image is 1200 by 1800 by 3 so it's not of the shape of 224 by 224 by 3 so i had to change the shape of the image for that reason write out there image equal to cb2 and give out there resize and pass out the image and give the new shape out there so 224 by 224 and three channels you don't have to include that so now let's check the shape and you can see the new shape is 224 by 224 by 3 but for uh, I have to include this image another dimension for prediction I will do it later let's check the image for the reason import matplotlib dot pyplot s plot plot dot in show pass out their image and write out there plot dot show let's see the image now and you can see this is the image out there and here it is a cat i can see now i want to have the prediction for this image so just go out there model dot oh i have to increase the dimension so I want to increase the dimension just write out then image equal to tf dot expand teams write out there the image and 
write out the zero so i want to increase the dimension externally that is here out there i want to place another dimension so okay done now just have the prediction and pass out the model and give out their predict pass out the image and let's see the prediction and you can see it's an array so i want to have this prediction made, uh, human readable for that reason what i have to do is just write out there here dot here's dot application dot write out the image net utils decode predictions and pass out there prediction and give out there top i want to have top five probability so five or six seven okay i want to have top seven probability so let's see and you can see the first one uh, with highest probability of 78 percent is tiger cat then gradually the probability is decreasing see so it's a tiger cat as predicted <clears throat> use a pretend model for prediction and you can also modify them you can fine tune them uh, in next tutorial i'll be showing you how to fine tune or transfer learning of a written model so this is all for this tutorial and as always thanks for watching and if you find the video to be helpful for yourself don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button to appreciate my effort